And feel free to come in, but you're, you're, you're <clears throat> the voice will be picked up on um, a couple of things. Uh, getting ready for like TV uh, or magazine type publicity um, for a creative and also potentially feeling like uh, a fraud or an imposter around it. And I can definitely uh, relate to those. I think um, the thing with... Uh, Preparing for um, like a magazine journalist or a TV journalist or something is uh, miracles happen when you've let go of your um, thank you. miracles happen when you let go of your identification, the story that and the fear yes, hello. Uh, around the story. Yes, so sure. there's there's two things. One is uh, there's the emotional component, and then there's the thought component. So you want to fully let those go until they're, they're all released. So how you do that? So one is just to um, do uh, feel the feelings, if there's like fear around it. But you want to also s sort of um, see how you're hooking into it, what kind of images, what kind of images or what kind of thoughts are coming up around it. And you want to clear, you want to clear those. So if you're if you're constantly thinking about it and you have a story around it, like going to the witnesser of that uh, on a regular basis will we'll start to... Because when I'm, if I was afraid of a journalist, I'd be in, identified with my thoughts and my body and my things. So mm -hmm. what's witnessing, just to ask, what's witnessing the story and the body? So the witnesser of the story and the body will qu quickly disengage you. And every time you do that, you're breaking the identification with the story and it, it being a personal thing that's going to happen to the ego in the future. So just by keeping doing that, and you're just kind of washing away the feelings and the thoughts and identification. So you do the witnesser. The other thing is, like, I would also do another thing of just trying to scare myself. Like if it's a certain channel or something, just, uh, uh, just putting it on and just seeing if any emotions come up and just sitting with those feelings, letting the story go and just feel out the feelings. Sometimes with something like that, I found if there's a charge, if you do a long, like say I'm worried I'm going to speak to a journalist next week, I'll, and I'm feeling a bit agitated, I might sit down and do feel the feelings for as long as it takes to get this sense of total release. You go into a deeper peace, and that, and if you keep doing that, that will also like wash away that. And as you do that, as your vibration increases, it will be a better and better encounter. Also, if I'm going to meet a journalist, I'd be if I can find their name, I'd pray for them. You know, pray for a miracle to see John Smith differently, if it's John Smith or whatever. Pray for, you know, just pray for John Smith um, and get that connection. Also, you, you get that, um, you get that intu intuition of how to deal with it. One of the things for me is like, um, you know, when, um, if, okay, the thing with the imposter or the fraud thing is, um, the, one of the things that really, 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 really helped me uh, with the imposter and the, and the fraud thing was that... Um, uh, <laughs> with the imposter and fraud thing, was that, however, um, I once had, like, um, uh, I put it out, as a hypnotherapist, I put it out to, that I was available to help newspapers and stuff, and I got a phone call from the Metro newspaper and I, I shared some some simple tools with them and um, but what really helped me is that the fear I had was that other hypnotherapists are going to judge the level of my hypnotherapy and NLP skills I wasn't worried about the public judging me but I was worried oh the experts will judge me for, for being in that position but then I realized that whatever you say and whatever you do um, even if I know very little, I know more than a lot of people, you see. Mm. So, like, even if I know, like, m mm. to, to just focus on my breathing, that's the only thing I know about meditation. And uh, I probably think that that's probably not very advanced. But if I just spoke to someone and taught them how to breathe, that would be like, that's like an amazing thing just for thousands of people. So I just, I don't have to be like, you know, I don't have to be, I just have to, have to say something that's useful. The other thing that really, really helped me, like when with speaking, 
and stuff is um, it, which is slightly off the spiritual field but I mean it is a spiritual field it's, it's just being of of service it's, it's, so that takes my self-centeredness out of it so like if, if, if uh, like I'm speaking about spirituality and there's an audience and there was a journalist I'll forget it's about me and it's just about how to channel love to the audience and you know the, if there's a journalist in there it's not about the journalist particularly I'd probably like I'd probably tune out the journalist and just be of maximum love, a pure channel, to, to emanate as much love to the audience as possible and just forget about the journalist. I mean, the, the journalist is part of the audience, but emanate love to the journalist as well. Um, if, you know, the, the stuff that comes up, my mental dialoguing around a journalist being in the room or me having to be an expert, for me, you know, you just... Um, uh, like praying for, you know, the Course in Miracles I think is very good, like praying for a miracle, a shift in my perception, that I have to be an expert and have to perform perfectly, that will release it, mm -hmm. or uh, pray for a miracle um, to see John Smith, the journalist, differently, and then you'll start to get a different perception, mm -hmm. that that's just a regular human being. Because uh, if I see them as something scary, then, I, you know, there'll be a disconnection. So as you, as you sort of see them, Eventually, you know, you want to get to the place where they're just a regular human being, you know, that, that you're just connecting to on a heart level. And it's not, not... And the other thing, you know, that was really, really interesting, I don't normally talk about Dr. Hugh Len, but I, I, I watched something from him, the Hapanapana guy, and he would like... If, and he said something really interesting. And, like, when you're doing this enlightenment work, what you're doing is you're clearing anything in your perception that hooks in to the, to the data or the objects in the surrounding. And he would like, he, and he said like when he was going to give an interview that he would, he would like clear everything, like the camera. He would clear the camera. Mm -hmm. And I understood what he was sort of saying. It's like, it's like you want to sort of let go of your identification. And then remember in truth, in truth there's only oneness. Yes, in truth there's only oneness. So if your ego is tracking separation or fear in any object, or even, on some level, I'm sure he was clearing that the camera is like a portal to a larger audience. This might scare you, but then you clear that, you clear that fear away. With you can do that through the observer, through field of feelings, through specific prayers like praying for a miracle and a shift in perception to do around it. And you just keep doing all of that until you feel you can't track it any longer. You know, at a certain point when I'm if, there, if there's something I'm afraid of in the future, if you do a, enough spiritual like feel the feelings, the observer, pray for a miracle to see it differently, uh, and uh, do that, at a certain point it, you automatically let go, because you can't hold on and track that as a future outcome that you're afraid of. So you've cleared everything in you that, you know, I'm afraid I won't be perfect, or I'm, I'm afraid they'll judge me for not being good enough, or I won't have a good day on the day. And uh, you, 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 you release all of that and, and you sort of see it differently. Other things to do if you don't have enough time, let's say suddenly you've got an interview next week with a journalist or something, then um, if I haven't got enough time to do 100... There's few things to do with 100% clearing something. One is to provoke myself as much as I can, scare myself as much as I can, and then clear it, like bring it up. That's an old hypnotherapy trick as a hypnotherapist. You know, it's like uh, if you've got someone and they're afraid of, as a hypnotherapist, if you've got someone that they're scared, scared of spiders, but there's no spider, you just make, you just get them to visualize a spider and scare them witless, and then, then you can like work on them, and you can just clear their energy field. So, because if they're not, if they're not, if they're not feeling the emotion and they, they haven't got the story, it's harder to clear it fully from the system. So, let's say. Um, I don't know, let's say, uh, uh, let's take, let's say um, the, the Telegraph, I just made it up, I, mean, I haven't got anything with the Telegraph, the Telegraph, I got, a journal, I got, a, uh, got an interview with the Telegraph next week, I'd probably like put a Telegraph on my table, you know, and, uh, uh, or something, just so that it's in my face, and then I'd, I'd go to the observer of that. Or I'd see if there's any emotion coming up, and then I'd sit with the feeling, clear it, clear that out, until it's it has no charge with it. Mm -hmm. Or um, also, or if I know it's the journalist, you know, actually this is what I do. I probably, if I know that they've got their public face photo on there, 
you know, I pray for them and, and just sort of pray for a miracle, a shift in my perception until I feel this sense of uh, letting go of my absorption in my own story around it. Um, other things are uh, that, you know, as you got the levels of vibration consciousness, it's always to serve the greatest good. So it, it, doesn't, it doesn't come, so, you know, like service and to be of the greatest good takes it off it being about me. Uh, and, you know, oh, I have to perform good and journalist has to write a great piece about me and it has to be a great piece of publicity. And then I'm afraid I might not be good enough or they might find, I might say something, they'll say I'm a fraud or I'm not a very good expert. But then if it's like, you know, if I align myself and let, let that go, it's like, you know, the, the highest I can align myself. If I, when, it, when I align myself, like I'm only here to be, um, to be here of service for the highest good of all concerned, then it, it totally takes off, you know, totally my ego starts to disappear because it's like, well, you know, there are just a room of people and how can I serve for the highest good for all concerned? And that will just gravitate away from the thoughts, the self-centered thoughts. But that's just another tool. The other thing is if I haven't got enough time to fully clear out the energy before the, before the journalist uh, appointment, then um, I would do some things, um, especially on the day, just to make sure before you go in that you're, you're spiritually connected as it's possible. Like, you know, I might watch like a Muji, a U Muji on YouTube. Like, you know, um, there was a story where, um, <clears throat> this is a true story of me, like, after I had this transplant operation, uh, and I said, I won't take any painkillers, I'll feel, feel the feelings without the painkillers. And I was doing the Lord's Prayer and just fully welcoming the feeling. And at a certain point, like this inspiration come in. You've got, you, you've got Muji on, on your headphones to stick him on. And he was just saying, go to the observer. I went to the witnesser of the whole situation of the pain. And I went to sleep, you see. So just that reminder from an advanced spiritual teacher, or I have YouTube videos on the observer tool, just listening to something, then you suddenly automatically, that the grace of the teacher will help you to detach from your story. And you, if you do that just before you go in to the journalist appointment, then you'll be at that, that vibration without this, the self-centered ego attaching to its fear-based, you know, you'll be on a, on a different plane. And you just, you, you'll be channeling. You'll be channeling from grace rather than just being in your self-centered ego, being worried about being judged or, or whatever. So those kind of things, you know, it comes to you, you know, like when you're, when you're very self-centered around it, identified with the ego, then it's very fearful, I'll not be good enough, they'll judge me. And then as you let go, then you get these higher, higher uh, interpretations of what the event is. Oh, it's, it's about giving as much love into the thing. And then, it's about, and then it's about letting go of all of that even, and just being the witnesser, and just let grace come through, and just orchestrate the thing. Because I, I know that the more I'm identified, the worse everything goes with my ego. And then if I align myself with... The, so being in my ego is being in my ego, and then I'm afraid and I'm worried about everyone judging me. Then I can have a spiritual intention, which still means I have an ego, but it's like I'm trying to have the highest motive with an ego that I can. So the highest motive with an ego that I can have is to be of love and service. But still me trying to be of love and service. You know, so it's me... There's still a severe, but he's doing his best to be of love and service. And that's better than just being me only. Mm. And then, then there's the non-dual, or the being in the witnesser, which even forget there's a me trying to do service and, and trying to come across as loving or something, and just let everything go and be in the witnesser. And just stay present, mm. or just in the infinite now, the, uh, the timeless now, and just let everything unfold naturally out of that. And my experience is that that's, that usually is the best outcome, when there's no severe. The second best outcome is, is there is a severe trying to be of service, that's second best. And the third best is if, you know, uh, there's a strong ego severe, you know, being worried about trying to be perfect and what people think of severe and blah, blah, blah. So I know that, so there's a lot of different vibrations and the more you let go, uh, the more, but really it's doing the work until you don't track or a track as little feeling out the fear, um, going to the observer, praying for a miracle to see it differently, praying for the journalist, all of that will then... I found that 
when you do all of that until it's, it's totally erased and the miraculous happens, and to the extent you're still holding on to some kind of remnant of a story of fear or self-obsession or worried about coming across as a fraud, it's like there's a resistance. And those, those things that are still in there create the situation not flowing as smoothly as it potentially could. But, uh, you know, um, you know, if anyone's going for, for an interview or anything, I'm, I'm wishing, wishing the miracles in it. Yeah.